Hey young peeps, welcome back to Snail TV. So on this episode we're going to be doing a, um, a just a quick head pour on uh, the Hayabusa. So obviously quick for you guys, but it's going to be about, about a four or five hour job of me. So um, we've gotten the head from the like, of the Hayabusa and we have uh, started taking off the valve springs and uh, well valves are still in there. Uh, so I've just degreased the whole thing. Cleaned it all up, just so I got all the oil in it. Everything's looking real good, so there's nothing, um, yeah, that's bad and yeah, everything's great. So what we're gonna do is, I'll just take you through quickly. If you just don't know how to do it, um, just gonna get yourself a, um, a collet remover. Um, so it just looks like that. It's just pretty much, you can use this a hollow rod, pretty much, and all you do is just put it on the outside, of, like, just like that. So you can see there, just goes like that, and. You just bang it with a hammer, sort of pretty hard. Um, what I was thinking was, if I can, it'd be awesome uh, if I can get some um, new valve springs. So these standard ones are a, um, a forty-two pounds, uh, double 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 valve springs. So which means got a valve inside of a, a spring inside of a spring. And if I can, the retainers, everything else is good, um, but they um, definitely suggesting on a. Um, on a turbo build, turbo or nitrous, pretty much what I've got both got, but um, that running, um, yeah, up to like, yeah, you start getting a bit of valve float, the more boost you end up running. So, um, what I was thinking was uh, if I can get some 65 pounders, so I can get uh, right here, right now, I can get some, uh, I think it's 45 pounds, so they're, they're 42 pounds. Um, I can get some 45 pounds shipped to me straight away, but 65 pounds are coming from, uh, the States. Uh, I don't really want to wait for that, but, so if I can get some 65 pounds. So, yeah, if I can get some 65 pounds, uh, now, then, um, yeah, I'm pretty keen to, uh, do the valve springs while I'm at it. Uh, just so then I know that they are seating properly and um, yeah, don't have any problems with uh, the valve float up. Top rev, obviously, once we um, put some more boost into it. And as I said, I'm only running gate pressure now, so yeah, yeah probably seven pound. But I don't even think I've even, not even sure if I've hit that. I haven't even looked at any logs yet or anything like that. So as I said, this thing's too quick to look at anything, but I'm um, still just um, tuning things up. So that's what we're going through. So I'll just put you on um, uh, time lapse now. We'll do a good head port. So I'll just quickly go through what tools I'm going to use and um, what bits. Obviously, good die grinder and a good bit. So this is my good one, and it has a very, very nasty. Well, it's not nasty. Nasty as in good uh, aluminium bit on it, and it um, just chunks it out which I love. And then we've got some um, more carbide bits, which is very long ones. So that will get you into the deep, deep sections. Uh, also got a decent, really um, nice um, one there. And I also have some of these bad boys just to finish everything off. Um, obviously I've got one on here already with the little tiny fur bit on there. And so that's one of them. And then, yeah, that's the one that's over there. So, yeah, I've got a couple more as well. Another tiny little one there. It's good for the ends. Very small. I know the professionals use some good stuff as well. But, um, yeah, this is what I like to use anyway. So, yeah, we're going to get... Um, we'll get the rest of it. All of the springs taken out. Uh, get it back to bare bones. And let's, um, yeah... Mark the service out, we'll see how much we can take out. Um, and then we'll have a look, or we'll just have a look at a quick couple of pictures on the net just to see how much they actually do take out. Um, and yeah, we'll just shape it out pretty nicely. So I can't feel too much, like these are very, cast, these, these are casted very good. There's not much bad stuff in there. Um, but yeah, I get, definitely we can um, get a uh, bigger window in there. So. And uh, while we're at it, we'll just quickly skip, uh, quickly clean up the valves. So everything else is looking pretty good. As you can see them all. Um, yeah, we can just 
give them a quick little polish uh, make sure the blocks nice and flat quickly just give that a skim over and yeah everything else is looking great I'm really really happy with how it's looked and um, yeah so uh, that's the plan anyway so yeah if I can get some um, let's get to it I'll put you on time lapse now guys and um, yeah this will be a uh, gonna be like about a three four hour, hour exercise as I said but uh, to you guys it's gonna be a um, two minute exercise so yeah we'll go through it and then we'll um I'm just hoping I can get some valve springs that's all I really want to get this thing back together in the next week or so so um, yeah if I have to wait I have to wait but I don't want to so yeah that's where we're at guys uh, so yeah I'll quickly show you the boost of what it's looking like now so there that's what it's looking like peeps it's looking a bit sad at the moment with no uh, head on it at the moment I'll quickly put a rag over top the moment everything else looks great boards look awesome um yeah it's a uh yeah what a block what a what a motor um yeah everything else has come up good there was no leaking manifold was all sealing uh everything has uh been looking really good so i'm so happy so yeah uh let's get it all um going now and i'll uh, put you on time lapse and let's get get it done Alright peeps, I'll uh, just show you how much exactly of uh, the difference I've taken out so far. As you can see how much bigger it is. I open up the the window there quite a bit. So yeah, I'll keep going. Um, I've got to get now the longer bit down there. Uh, down in the actual, um, in the valve holes there. Uh, and yeah, get a little bit more bigger. So uh, there's a lot of meat here that um, oh yeah, I've taken out. So. So far, so good. You can see the difference there. It's about like another five mil I've taken out. So yeah, so far, so good. I'll uh, yeah, keep going on all of them. And uh, yeah, we'll clean up. Alright peeps, uh, yeah so intake's all done, uh, so I just want to take you through exhaust at the moment and you can just, I just want to show you how much actually I've taken out on the exhaust port so you can just see how big the window difference is. So all we need to do here is just make sure that the firing seals around the outside, which it does. All right, so all you need to do is make sure the firing seals on the outside. Uh, these boosters just run a uh, firing on the exhaust and they just um, clamp the exhaust actually straight to the ring. Uh, so you can see where it's black, which means exhaust gases touch. So you can see that right around it. So that's how much uh, you can theoretically take out. You can see on all of them how much it is there. And you can see just up there, a little bit there, it's a little bit there, I don't want to take out all that. I'm trying to still shape it to the port. But you can just tell when I put light into it, of how much light is actually inside of it. Difference. 
I know it's reflecting a little bit more because it's got uh, Ali. Uh, it's sh like more shiny, but you can just see how big the port is though. Alright, so yeah, it's all come up well. We just need to, uh, yeah, continue on all these now. Um, I've just done uh, just a little lick on the tops as well, so far. Oh, just on the top little bits there. And yeah, we'll, um, then we'll reseat the valves and we'll clean the valves up, sorry, reseat them. And yeah, the port job will be done. But yeah, we're gonna clean everything up as well, obviously. So yeah, let's, let's continue. <laughs> Yeah, on the uh, valve lapping, these things. So I went down a store and um, brought these bad boys. They're literally the biggest pieces of beep, I tell ya. So I've come up with a, a lot better action than that. Um, that's the compound, I need the compound anyway. So compound's great. I've done two now. I tried to do them with um, those things, but <laughs> They just don't grab. So, what I've come up with, because I'm a genius and all, is this. I'll try to organize that. I've just got to clean this one first. All right. A lot better way. So we can pop that in there. Like that. Sorry about the noise, it's raining. All right, so then you get yourself your cutting compound, this stuff, all right, and put it on there, all right. Now here's the, the easy part. Now you can just see the valve hanging out, right? So you can just see that little, that little bad boy there hanging out. So what I've come up with is this, so simple. On the drill, a tiny little bit of um, hose, right, vacuum hose, a little bit smaller than the, the valve, right, and then bring the valve in, like this, all right, I'll just show you, so you want to hold the valve in, and then underneath, push that underneath, right, Put that onto the stem, and you can hear it, and then it disappears. Pull it off. Let's take a look. So their ones took a couple of shots.
That is pretty good. All the way around, I'm not sure if you guys can see it. That's pretty good all the way around. It's really good. So, yeah, a lot better way. All right, so I'll show you the other way. The other way was this. Putting it in. Oh, I'm not going to talk to that one. So I'll stuff it up. Because this thing, these things are hopeless. Alright. I thought it was me, but it's, it's not. Alright, so let's put another one in there. And then, so you get a motorbike one, and they might come in handy for an automotive one. But, you're supposed to put it in there, put the stuff on there, lick it. I won't show you that. I won't show you that. And then, once it grabs, do it by hand. Like, on, and then back and forth but it just keeps coming off I don't know if I've got a dud one it looks pretty good but absolutely hopeless so easiest way is to hold on it bit of compound on it all right you can use a drill and you'd be a little bit more um nicer but I need to hear it grab and then not good much easier so I'm just putting my pressure onto it I don't need a like my fingers and it doesn't hurt because it's very smooth in the center maybe once more go over on that one I can just see a couple little little bits on that one I can just a one once more so I'll clean it and yeah we'll go one more time on that one I reckon you want these to be really good. Yeah, and it's cut it real nice on that as well. So it's good, good cutting compound. But just the tools are hopeless. Well, I are up on it anyway. I see other people using them, but... I don't know. It's probably just me. But, so yeah, it's good. But then, same thing. Oh, perfect. That's beautiful. Um, real happy with that. It's a lot nicer way to do it, guys. So yeah, I thought I'd just let you know. I'll just go through them now. Probably time lapse them, and um, yeah, it'll be done in five seconds. <laughs> 